No time to heal, yes, my rhyme for real, yes, I'm going to kill with my gimmick team. Insane game, James from Insane Pain Game. And I got five wins in a row without having any of my pets die. Giggity, yeah, yeah. You know what's a little bit more fun when you win 16 games in a row? That's right, I won 16 games in a row. This is the first five. And the reason why I'm going to show you the first five is because I got the achievement no time to heal that's winning five pvp pet battle matches at level 25 without having any of your pets die yeah so that's what we're doing right now so i've got my unborn valkyr and two speed speed versions of the death adder hatchling and i agree my team is a little cheap i'm using two snakes the speed speed versions but i just recently caught my unborn valkyr last week so let's celebrate that. And it's not like I've ever done this team before. These are the first games that I've ever done with the Unborn Valkyr and two speed speed versions of the Death Adder Hatchling. I've used the Death Adder Hatchling, but I've never put two on the same team. So even though this is very cheap, it's not like I'm doing this all the time. I've given a great variety of videos from Insane Pain Game. If you haven't seen any of those, please subscribe. Click the like button. Support us. When I've tried for this achievement or when I got close before, I tried more of a healing approach. I used my Magical Crawdad, the Clockwork Gnome, the Blossoming Ancient, just pets that could heal or blind the opponent. I also tried like the Grip teams before they nerfed the Grips like the Crawling Claw and the Fiendish Imp and the Enchanted Broom where you could just yank the opponent in like a Death Crip. And you did a lot of damage. I got pretty close a few times. I got four wins, three wins. I could never get that fifth win. So it's pretty hard, actually. You kind of have to get a little lucky to get this achievement. A lot of my opponents just got frustrated and actually left. So when your opponent quits on you, and I made quite a few people quit. I mean, this is a gimmick team. This could definitely frustrate you. I've gone against this team. Sometimes I get ideas from my opponent. I don't get mad. I try to beat them. If I can't beat them, it's a loss, whatever. But... I've got some good ideas from some of my other opponents, like this team, the team, I don't know if you guys have ever seen my video where I use Merc a lot, the Death Aider Hatchling, and a Kovac. That's a pretty cool team, I went on a good win streak. I'll leave that link, you can click here, or it's in the description. But because I've won so many games in a row, and this team just did so well the first time, I have to label this the best pet battle team ever. Ever. For me. I mean, I made a video back before my old team got nerfed. I went on good win streaks before, but I've never won more than 10 games in a row, let alone 16. So if you guys have gone on crazy win streaks, let us know in the comments. You know, I'm curious. What's your favorite pet battle teams to use? Let us know. I mean, I've got plenty of teams to show you guys, but I'm always interested to know what you guys are using as well. When I first read the achievement, No Time to Heal, I did think I would have to do some sort of a gimmick to get it. That's very hard to win five games in a row without having any pets die. So like I said, I tried to heal and do the healing approach. I think a way, you know, Blizzard always balances pet battles. They've done very well this expansion to eventually nerf the overpowered pets. But I think what they should also do is not allow someone to use two or three of the same pet. I mean, if this really frustrates people, this doesn't frustrate me, but I beat a lot of people. I don't know how they feel about this team. Let us know in the comments, but uh, they could fix it so you could only use one of the same pet. That way I'm not doing such a gimmick. He does have the right pets to kind of give me a better go, but he keeps quitting. Like, he has the Clockwork Gnome. He needs to drop the turrets down, not launch a rocket. I keep blinding him and I'm blocking the rocket. 
And then he has the war bot that drops the minefield. But I'm frustrating him so much and he's not he doesn't know how to use his pet. So I did get kind of lucky to get this achievement. But there was a lot of better battles after these five. I went on a 16 game win streak. Even my loss, the 17th match that I lost, that was a very close battle. You know, I went against another gimmick team actually. I finally lost to two singing sunflowers and a magical crawdad. If you want to watch any of our other videos from this afternoon of pet battles, like if you want to watch the 17 games in a row, the 16 game win streak, including the loss, that's in the description. All you got to do is click the link. I'm going to also make a video of just the loss and the last win with narration. It's gimmick team versus gimmick team, like 20 minute matches each. So it was Death Aider Hatchling, Death Aider Hatchling, my unborn Valkyr versus his magical crawdad and two singing sunflowers kind of hilarious so you know grats to me grats to you if you already have no time to heal if you're still going for that achievement don't give up you know like i said i tried a few months ago like eight months ago i tried really hard with a magical crawdad and a bunch of different combinations so it really comes down to your opponent and the pets you're using maybe you want to try my gimmick team or just keep trying your teams, you know, if you're getting close, like I said, it comes down to getting lucky and maybe going against a few bad players or people that aren't that experienced. There's my achievement. Yiggity yeah yeah. Insane Game James signing off for Insane Pain Game. Again, thank you for joining us. Click the like button. Make sure you're subscribed and tell us something in the comments. Let us know how you feel.